All right, welcome to my uh, vlog channel. It's been a while since I've done a vlog. Uh, all right, so today we're going to take a look at uh, another mall that's not doing too well here in New Jersey. Um, last time I did a video was uh, with now closed Monmouth Mall. They've already started demolishing... Uh, the Lord and Taylor over there. The mall itself actually closed this past Sunday. I had I had known I would have took another walkthrough, but you know, I did that in the video. There was really nothing open. Practically everything inside closed. So yeah, it's, it sucks, but what are you gonna do? Um we're gonna, I'm going to take a two-minute drive up to uh, Woodbridge Center Mall. Uh, this is another mall that's not doing too well. well. A lot of people have said, oh, this mall ain't doing too good. It's not. And I and I drove by yesterday and looked at the parking lot, and I was actually surprised how, how empty it was. So... I'm kind of interested to see what's actually open. I haven't been over there since, I would say, January. Yeah, January. I was going to go to T-Mobile and pay my bill. And it was closed. So I remember the T-Mobile was right next to Red Robin and near where Sears used to be. Walk in there. I'm like, all right, I'm going to pay my bill fucking place is closed. I'm like, what the fuck? So, I mean, I, I don't know what happened with this mall. I mean, um, I know it's two traffic lights away from Menlo Park, which is doing phenomenal. <clears throat> that mall is thriving. I mean, I go in there. I mean, I'll go in there and go to Apple Store, or I'll go in there for T-Mobile if I have to if I'm late on my bill, I'll just pay that. But yeah, it's it's crazy the comparison between two malls. And Menlo actually opened first before Woodbridge. Did. You know, Woodbridge it was only by a decade. You know, I mean, the very first time I went to Woodbridge Center was. In the 80s. I was kind of blown away by it. I was like, wow, this is actually a cool mall. But, uh... Yeah, once I moved down here... I was a frequent visitor, visitor to that mall all the time, you know. Living here in uh, Woodbridge since I've been here over 30 years, so... I mean, it's... It's a nice ball, but, you know, now it's falling down on time. So, I'm going to take a look inside, see what's going on, and find out what the future is going to be like. This is Woodbridge Center in Woodbridge, New Jersey. The mall opened up in 1971. The opening day anchors were Abraham and Strauss, which opened their first store in New Jersey. Stearns and Orbex. Later on in the 1970s, the mall received an expansion in which J.C. Penney and Haynes were added into the mall. And that and that lineup of anchors remained solid until the mid 1980s, when the mall has first significant change. As Orbex went out of business and was replaced with Steinbeck's in 1987. In 1989, Haynes went out of business but did not convert that store into Lord and Taylor. Instead, that store was converted to Fortune Off, which had its second biggest store in New Jersey. I think it was bigger than the one in Wayne at the time. So, 
So with that, the 1990s was going strong with this mall. I, I frequently went there as a as a, a teenager in high school. You know, hang out with the hang out with the bros. We go to a mall on Friday night. It wasn't over there. It was Menlo Park. You know, we mall hop from time to time. And uh, it was going good until uh, 1995 when the mall lost two long-running anchors. The original ANS was rebranded to Macy's after their takeover of the Federated Department Store chain and converted his store into Sears in 1995. Also in 1995, Steinbeck shuttered and the store was gutted out and redone to open the only Lord and Teller in Middlesex County. And that opened up in 1996. The next big significant change to Woodbridge Mall happened in 2001 as Stearns was rebranded as Macy's and Macy's opened up in his spot in 2001 while still having a store two traffic lights down at Menlo Park Mall. In 2003, Galleon Sporting Goods opened a store at the mall, which brought in the mall's six anchor. I would say more of a junior anchor. Uh, the Galleon's brand didn't last long. It converted to Dick Sporting Goods, which is still there as of today. Fortune Off shuttered in 2009 and was replaced with Boscoff's in 2013 after a big renovation before the store opening. Also still there to this day. The next changes came at the end of the 2010s as Lord and Taylor shut down all of his stores after so many years in business and the location remains vacant. Also Sears shuttered in 2020, right before the COVID-19 pandemic. As you saw in my first vlog I did of going to malls after COVID kind of calmed itself down. Uh, the Sears was close. Because it was still open before the pandemic. So I don't know. I don't know how they, ha they had it open. Maybe they had it open. Because you really couldn't go anywhere once COVID started. And right now... As I, as I look at the mall, the mall isn't looking too bad. I would say it's got a 70 to 75% occupancy. There's a lot of vacant stores in the Lord and Taylor and Sears wing, which is understandable because I don't think anything's going to replace either stores there. But I do feel... If one more anchor closes, this mall is done. I, I really do believe that because I, I don't think it's going to last much longer. As of this year, the Woodbridge Mayor, uh, John McCormick, vowed that nothing will ever happen to this mall. And it was sold to new to a new company. As, as you know, this mall was run by Rouse, 
the Rouse Company when it first opened, and it went through a couple other property owners, uh, Brookfield Properties. And I forget the name of the current one that's running it now, but I don't know if they're going to make any changes. Is it going to be just like this? Are they going to add some new stores? We, we just don't know.
Starbucks over there. I was in there for a while, I know that. I got chips. Well, I have to say, uh, Woodbridge Center is not doing too bad. Because, I, you know, a lot of people were saying, oh, this mall's not doing too well. I'm thinking they must have closed a ton of stores. But, uh, no, that's not the case. I'd say it's like a 75% occupancy. 70 75%. So this place is not doing too bad. It just it just looks like a ghost town when you go in there. But I do I do think if one more anchor closes, it's over. Say they close Macy's, which we have two by me. You know we got one down at Menlo Park Mall also. Just two traffic lights down. So what's the point of even having two around here? One's going to have to go. It'll probably be this one. Like I said, if this one goes, that's it. It's over. It's over for this mall, I would think. Because if you look at the wings where Sears and Lord and & Taylor was, they don't have a lot of stores. And... Once Macy's, uh, say, if Macy's were to close, that's it. I think it's done. But, uh, anyway, thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, favor. I'll try to upload some more content. I've been so, so, so busy. I always gotta find a lot of downtime to make these videos. Because I work at my job. I put a lot of hours in. Sometimes I have to do more than what's expected when I go into work. So I'm usually tired. Um, if I'm not doing that, I'm going to some car event, shooting pics, which I, I started back doing this year, but um, not as much. Only a couple of events. I didn't want to do every event because it just wears you out. And the rest of the time, I just I just chill at home and I just sleep in or whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. So, I mean, that's how it is, man. When you get older, you, you start to feel it. But anyway, guys, I'm out of here.